everyone it's happy mail queen I have a project share for you guys as you guys know I've been playing with crepe paper quite a bit and it is raining here in California so it's the perfect time to actually do some crafting so uh, today I wanted to share some projects featuring some Alina craft dies and so I'm just gonna share with you what I used. I used this bow die, which is the small bow. I also used the larger bow die right here from Alina Crafts. Sorry, this is the sleeve that goes with that. I used the banners, the small banners, and I actually used just the tiny one right here. I used this topper, which is a bow slash present topper and I used uh, both pieces and then I know some of you guys have asked me about this die and it is again another Alina craft die and um, these are the borders and I love this particular die set because you get so many different designs so those are the dies that I use now let me go ahead and share my projects with you so I was playing around with my crepe paper and decided to create this cute little tiny bow. I was in a bow making mood yesterday and so I decided I was going to make some paper bows and as well as some crepe paper bows. And I kind of got this idea, it was kind of accidental actually. The last project that I created, uh, I felt like it needed something and then I just kind of came up with this. Um, but... I think the reason why I kind of had this idea in my head was because of the new release that Alina had recently showed on her video. And she has some nesting dies that also has this little die that creates bows. And of course, you would use paper. Uh, and it just kind of reminded me of that bow. So I decided to, since I was playing with my crepe paper, to go ahead and create some. And I basically, for the edges of the bow, I wanted a nice decorative edge. Uh, initially, I made one and it didn't have the decorative edge. And I wanted to play with this, see this scalloped edge? It's very small and dainty, and so that's what I used here, basically. And if you stick around, I will share my process at the very end. But let me go ahead and just share with you. I created the crepe paper bow first, and then I decided it just needed something more. And of course, I had to get my tool. So then I basically just cut a small piece of tool and... Um, I love the, the sparkly tool. So that's basically what I used and just cut a little piece and then just bunched it up in the center. And so let me share with you guys what I came up with after I created this. So I made these and I shared this on Instagram. So check that out if you guys have haven't seen it. Uh, I'm also Happy Mail Queen on Instagram. And so I just basically bunched up the tool as well as pinched um, the middle part here. And then I just used some twine to, to hold that together. And which one did I use? I believe I used uh, one from Hobby Lobby. I think it was this one right here, but it was a silver one. And I also used one from Target, which I just pulled apart because it's like a bigger twine, but it's in gold. And of course, now I can't find it. But yeah, you can just use whatever is in your stash. And then I put one of the heart blings here in the center. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put centers on them because they're going to be gifted and that way the recipient can just put whatever center they feel would go with their project when they use it. Uh, 
but I did put one in the center right here. And then here is that tag die. Oh, that I didn't share with you. It's another Alina Craft die. I think we all have this tag die set. And I used the largest one. Not as a tag, really, but basically just to hold my little bows. And it's really, really cute. And then, just to package it, uh, of course, you guys know I've been making my toppers. And so... Um, here's another one that I created and there is that present topper die that I was showing you earlier so here's the topper and then here's that layering piece that I just have peeking out right there and then I just put my heart rosette and then there's a little bow right there that I created and I just kind of what's nice about this is you can basically manipulate the crepe paper because it's um, you know just very pliable I guess so you can stick this just about anywhere you can make your bow any which way you want to you know you, you can um, direct it any which way so I love that it's very versatile so that's how it looks like it looks like packaged and here is another one right here I've shared this one already and I put it on that topper here's another recent one that I made and I basically used that topper again the bow topper and I just love how the little tails are just peeking out. And then here's a purple one. Sorry guys for the glare, but I've already packaged it. And I used the stickers from the main squeeze. And then, like I said, I was making bows. And so I also... Uh, embossed some bows and what's nice about embossing is that it does make it breaks the fiber a little bit you know because you run it through your machine and so it does make you know even your thicker cardstock uh, a little bit more pliable which is great when you're making bows because you obviously have to bend it so I love that and this is a lattice um, I think it's a Darice embossing folder it's this one right here actually and I just use a section of it because um, it only has I don't know if you can see that but um, it has a stack of books, but the lattice part right here, that's what I, I'm using. And so I created those. I made it in gold because sometimes you just want some plain bows for, you know, when you're gifting so that they can just put whatever centers they want. Um, I did put a center on this one and I also added a little bit of tool, which I love to do. And just used one of my heart embellishments there uh, for this one here actually I used a different embossing folder so I believe that one is another Darice uh, embossing folder which have the little tiny hearts I can't find it right now but um, they just have the tiny hearts and I think I got that at, if I'm not mistaken, at Tuesday morning. And then here's a, the tiny bows. And this is from, um, this is from Michael's, the paper. And then I just used my Swiss dot, which I've had forever. <laughs> I love that uh, embossing folder. And I think that's about it. I used a little more uh, tool on that one. 
So that is my project share. I hope you guys like what I created. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And I will leave the links to the dies I used in the description box. So make sure you check that out. So and here's some more toppers that I created and using that small banner set. And remember, use those embossing folders, you guys. Here's one that I created using a Tim Holtz die. Love that. Love this one. And then here's another one similar to that one. And see how I embossed the little um, banner? And put a little tool, tucked in a little tool there. This corrugated heart is from Michael's. Use some bling really cute so that's my project for today i hope you guys like it and i'll talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching to create this crepe paper bow you're gonna need some crepe paper cut to size and folded you want about two and three quarter inch and go ahead and cut two pieces and you're gonna run your crepe paper with the edge die that you choose and you want to do it on both sides of the crepe paper so here i just switched it over to the other side go ahead and run that through your die again so you have a decorative edge on both sides of the crepe paper then go ahead and take off the pieces that you cut off and now we're gonna assemble it. So I have this Target twine that I'm gonna cut and unravel because I only need one piece. And you can sand fold the crepe paper and put string in the middle. Or you can also place a piece of glittery tool that I'm just, here I'm cutting it to size with my pinking shears. Then go ahead and fan fold that again. And then you're basically going to take your twine and just make a nice square knot in the back. And you kind of have to fuss with it because it is a pretty tiny bow. So I just usually do a couple of knots in the back. And then just cut the excess pieces off and sometimes I'll go ahead and even put a just glue it on the back where the knot is and I think I created my knot in the front so I'm just fiddling with it and then you want to just fan it out so open up the folds and that's it really. So I hope you guys liked my process. Thanks for watching.